everybody flash rabbit here and today we're going to do a quick tutorial some time ago I made a video on the F3 screen the debug screen in Minecraft Java and it gave you some idea of what was going on because it can be quite confusing but the F3 screen has other functions you can do other things with it so that's what we're going to talk about today now if you press the F3 key in combination with different letters it gives us different functions and some of them are more useful than others to us ordinary Minecraft players so, for example, if you press F3 and A, it reloads all of the chunks in the world. So if I do that now, you can see everything is reloading. So that might be a case that you've got a bit of a glitch and you want to try and get rid of it. If you press F3 and B, it toggles the visibility of the hitboxes available on entities. And it also shows the direction in which the entity is facing. So, so I don't know if you've ever put anything in a boat and you try and break the boat and you kill the villager that's in it for example well this will actually show you the hitbox so you can try and avoid doing that if you press F3 with C it copies the, your location the player's location and rotation in the form of a TP command so if you want to TP somebody to your location that's a really easy way to do it if you were to press F3 plus D that will clear all of the text in your chat box so for example if I press T on the keyboard and type a load of rubbish like that and send if I now press F3 and D it clears it so when we bring up the text again everything's gone and sometimes that can be handy if you've got a messy chat if you press F3 plus F it changes the render distance another useful one is if you press F3 plus G that toggles your chunk borders so if you press F3 plus G like that you can see there we've got all of the borders on our chunks and now if we want to dig out a specific chunk or we can only build in one chunk for a challenge or whatever uh, you can quite easily see your chunk borders and you just press F3 and G again to get rid of them F3 plus H toggles advanced tooltips F3 plus I copies the block or entity data to the clipboard. And if you're in creative, F3 plus N toggles the spectator cycle. F3 plus P toggles the automatic pause if lost focus. F3 plus Q gives help or shows all of the F3 commands. F3 plus T reloads all the textures, models and sounds within a pack. So if, again, you've got some sort of a glitch that you want to try and get rid of, you can do that to try and reload everything. F3 plus Shift toggles the profile graph with the debug screen and that looks like this. There you can see on the right hand side you've now got a pie chart. F3 plus Alt toggles the time frame graph. And finally F3 plus 4 toggles the game mode switcher which you can do if you're in creative and you can toggle between survival, creative, spectator mode. And that's it for the F3 screen. I hope that's helped you out. If it has please press the like button and if you've really enjoyed it consider subscribing because it really does help the channel out loads. And if you don't want to miss any of my episodes in the future press the bell icon and I'll be sure to let you know the next time upload a video but for now thanks for watching bye bye